Hey guys, today we are making the best beet hummus. It's fairly easy and really quick. So if you're interested in making this delicious and healthy snack, stay tuned because we are about to get into the video. So um, what you're going to need is roasted beets, some sumac, tahini, lemon juice, olive oil, salt, pepper, and any other spices you might feel like throwing at the situation. So I'm gonna start with my roasted beets. And I just peeled those and I roasted them in my oven uh, for about 45 minutes until they were fork tender. Now I am going to pour in some olive oil and this is just to uh, give it something to kind of like lubricate the beets. You know what I'm saying? And then a little bit of tahini. And this was one third cup tahini. I think because I'm not using chickpeas, the tahini really um, helps to thicken the hummus and make it a little more rich and decadent. So we're just gonna go ahead and pop our lid on and we're gonna pulse this up. And you can pulse it as fine or as uh, thick as you'd like. Sometimes I like it to be thicker because I feel like the beet looks like little, little tiny jewels, like rubies or something and I just think it looks really beautiful, but you can pulse it and make it really fine if that's what you desire. Because honestly, ain't nothing wrong with creamy hummus. So next, I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of salt and you just want a salt taste. And I'm adding the salt as it's pulverizing. And now I'm gonna add a little more olive oil. I would say um, all together, I probably put a half cup of olive oil in this um, hummus. You can add less if you'd like, but I think that it makes it more delicious. So I put in more olive oil, and I also squeezed in the juice of half of a lemon. Uh, for some reason, I didn't get that lemon in the shot. But everything's gonna turn out just fine, so don't worry. So next, I'm gonna add a little bit of sumac, and I would say this was about a tablespoon of sumac. And next, I'm gonna throw in some raza hanout. That was a teaspoon and a tablespoon of red chili flakes. And I used Chimayan chili flakes. I pulsed it together until all those flavors are nicely combined. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and spoon it into my bowl for delicious snacking and dipping. And I'm gonna pull some herbs. I'm gonna use some fresh thyme from my garden. And I'm just gonna sprinkle that on top because I'd like for my food to look aesthetically pleasing. And I'm just gonna drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil. And this is included in that half cup of olive oil. And like I said, if you don't like to cook with um, oil, you don't have to use it. It was my choice and I love it. So now I'm just gonna add a little bit of sunflower seeds for the garnish. And you could also use this to make the most incredible veggie sandwich you've ever had. And I just added a little bit of cashew cheese that I made and some fresh Julian de vegetables. And this was the bomb.com guys. So guys, if you haven't done it already, go ahead and subscribe and follow me at West Coast Melting Pot on Instagram. Thanks for watching. Bye.